Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 most expensive types of coffee. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The world's best coffees have a hefty price tag. There are many excellent coffees in the world, and prices may not always reflect their quality, because pricing are mostly determined by supply and demand, rather than by the findings of coffee cupping, professional coffee tasting. Arabica coffee plant varieties produce all of the most costly coffee beans. This list fluctuates from year to year, and even within a year, as new crops enter and leave the market. In late 2016, a flood struck the facilities that store Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, destroying much of the harvest, which is anticipated to drive up the price of an already costly coffee due to decreased supplies. When considering purchasing some of these coffees, a sanity check is required. While it's cool to say you've had some of the world's most expensive coffees, no coffee is worth 10x, or 100x the price of other high-quality Arabicas in terms of absolute quality and cost. Costa Rican coffees, for example, are widely regarded as among the best in the world and cost $10 to $15 a pound. A pound of Kopi Luwak may be 30 times more expensive, but it is neither 30 times more flavorful nor 30 times finer. Low supply usually inflates the higher end of the market. Do you enjoy coffee so much that you'd be willing to pay a premium for high-quality beans? The top 10 most expensive coffees in the world are listed below. Number 10. Haiti Blue Pine Forest Coffee Beans The coffee industry in Haiti continues to be harmed by a devastating tsunami that struck the already impoverished island in 2010, destroying infrastructure and killing people working in many sectors of the coffee industry. Coffee production remained due to the higher heights, at which it is cultivated well up the hillside and out of reach of the waves, but it was still dealt a significant blow. They're noted for their medium body, balanced sweetness and rich flavor. Prices are usually between $20 and $25 per pound. Number 9, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Beans. The Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee cultivated on the Wallenford Estate, in the Blue Mountains of Jamaica is renowned for its gentle flavor and lack of bitterness. The most expensive Jamaica Blue Mountain coffees can cost up to $50 per pound. Around four-fifths of every Blue Mountain crop is sent to Japan, which has a near monopoly on this excellent Jamaican coffee. Number 8. Brazil Fazenda Santa Ines Coffee Beans Fazenda Santa Ines, which is grown in the Brazilian state of Minas Gerais, may fetch more than $50 per pound. In Brazil's 2006 Cup of Excellence Awards, Fazenda Santa Ines Coffee received the highest score. Number 7. Puerto Rico Yauco Selecto RR Coffee Beans Yauco Selecto AA, grown in the Yauco region of Puerto Rico's southwestern mountains, is recognized for its exceptionally mild flavor and fetches prices of more than $20 per pound. Number 6. Hawaii Kona Coffee Beans Kona coffee is grown on the volcanic slopes of Hawaii's Big Island, and sells for more than $30 per pound. Because of the high cost, many Kona coffee producers sell their beans, as part of a Kona coffee blend that includes lower-priced beans. If you want to taste the actual origin flavors of Hawaii Kona coffee, make sure you obtain 100% Kona coffee. The Kona coffee growing zone is situated above Kona town on the lower western slopes of the Hualalai and Mauna Loa volcanoes. Maui, on the other hand, has a reputation for great quality, and is slightly less expensive than Kona. To be labeled as Kona coffee, it must originate in the Kona districts of Hawaii. The Kona districts provide ideal growing conditions for coffee beans. The weather is bright for the majority of the day, with minimal wind, and a light rain shower in the afternoons, and the volcanic soil is exceptionally mineral rich. Hawaiian Kona is noted for its exquisite flavor, which can only be defined as one of a kind. Because the beans are extremely uncommon and in short supply, Producers have resorted to blending pure Kona with less expensive beans to create a more inexpensive blend. Approximately 10% of most Kona packets will be 100% pure Kona. If you want to get the whole Kona experience, seek for packets that say 100% Kona coffee. Number 5. El Salvador Los Plains Coffee Beans. Los Plains coffee, grown in El Salvador's Satala region, has been known to sell for more than $40 per pound. This coffee came in second place in the Cup of Excellence Awards in 2006. Number 4. Guatemala Huehuetenango Coffee Beans. More particularly, coffee from Guatemala's Huehuetenango region known as El Injerto can sell for more than $50 per pound. 
In 2006, the coffee took first place in the Cup of Excellence Awards, sixth place in 2007, and third place in 2002. Number 3. Brazil Fazenda São Benedito Coffee Beans. Fazenda São Benedito Coffee, grown in Brazil's Minas Gerais region, is famed for fetching prices of more than $20 per pound. The next coffee bean on the list is Fazenda Santa Ines, a Brazilian coffee bean that costs around $50 per pound. It is recognized for its delicious and sweet flavor, and is planted in the base of the Mantaqueira Mountains in Brazil. Fazenda Santa Ines has a wide fan base around the world, because to its over 100 years of coffee growing experience, making it simple to explain its $50 per pound price tag. It came in 8th place in the 2009 Cup of Excellence competition, and critics claim it's a fantastic cup with great value. Number 2. Panama Hacienda La Esmeralda Coffee Beans. This exquisite coffee is reputed to cost more than $100 per pound, and is grown in the shade of guava trees in Boquet, Panama. It is noted for its great flavor and perfume, and grows on the slopes of Mount Baru in western Panama. Number 1. Civet, Kopi Luwak Coffee Beans. Kopi Luwak, or civet coffee, is made from coffee beans, that have been consumed and excreted by the civet, a tiny animal. This nocturnal, weasel-like species is thought to give some special properties to the beans, as they transit through the digestive tract of the animal, resulting in a particular absence of bitterness. Because roasting is done largely to eliminate bitterness from coffee beans, the beans only need to be lightly roasted. However, because of the unusual processing of civet coffee beans, you will spend far more than conventional coffee beans, up to $600 per pound. In Indonesia and Vietnam, civet coffee is quite popular. Overview. You'll notice that these coffees are from all around the world. No single country has a monopoly on quality or price and availability and rating fluctuate year to year. Coffee, unlike wine, cannot be kept for more than a year or two without becoming bitter, or stale and losing the characteristics that make it so special. There's a decent mix of coffees recognized for their acidity and brightness, as well as other coffees that are more usually low acid. Farmers throughout the world are continually producing new coffee strains, hybrids, and crossbreeds that will thrive in their specific soil conditions. Geisha coffee is a popular strain that is spreading over the world and earning high prices. Farmers are now keeping the coffee cherry and drying it to sell alongside the beans, creating a product known as cascara, which helps them increase sales and potentially lowers coffee prices. In general, better cascara comes from higher quality, more expensive coffees. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.